Hello, good morning from Iceland. Um, I am in Iceland doing a solo trip. I'm here all by myself and this is also my first time out of the country. So um, it's a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling a little more nervous than I usually am on solo trips. Um, and I've traveled like throughout the United States on different solo trips. Um, but this is just a little bit scarier since I've been in another country. <laughs> um, but I've been looking forward to this for so long. So I'm gonna just take the camera along with me. Um, it makes me feel better to have the camera to talk to. Um, feels less alone and <laughs> then I can show these videos to my friends and everybody when I get back. Um, but so far the flight was great, straight flight from Denver and I picked up my rental car and now I'm in the parking lot of the Blue Lagoon. And so that's the first thing on the agenda. Um, the Blue Lagoon is pretty close to the airport, so um, an easy stop on my way into Reykjavik. Um, it's honestly shit weather outside, but that's all right. We're not going to let that ruin the fun. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to just relaxing after that flight. Um, I definitely am looking rough, looking a little tired. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm here for a while, for like eight full days, um, and then two travel days, so like ten days total, um, and I'll be staying in Reykjavik for the first few nights, and then I'm driving my little rental car down the south coast, so there's a lot of cool stuff to see down there. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna take you along with me for everything. Um, I probably will not be bringing this nice camera into the Blue Lagoon just because the weather is so bad, um, but I'll bring my phone and try and get some little shots of it in there. Uh, yeah, so that's it for now. <laughs> first Airbnb. It is a guest house called the Old Bicycle Shop and apparently there's some history in this building and it used to be an old bicycle shop so hence the name. Um, but yeah it's it was good fun times at the Blue Lagoon and now I'm just kind of getting settled here and then I'm gonna go grab some food for lunch and explore a bit, I guess. Um, I'm very tired still uh, from <laughs> traveling, so it's definitely gonna be an early night, but um, this place that I'm staying is just so cute and it was really cheap um, on Airbnb. And it's a guest house, so that means there's a bunch of other people staying here too. Um, but we all have our private rooms and then it's just shared bathrooms, but there's a bunch of them, so it shouldn't be a problem um, sharing with everybody. Um, but that's kind of why I'm like keeping my voice down too. And wow, I look pretty rough. <laughs> um, 
I'll put on makeup tomorrow. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I want to show you the place a little bit. So, here's my room. This adorable little bed. Perfect for a solo traveler. And I'm on the bottom floor. And I have this beautiful view of the garden area. And it's just so cute. I love it. There's some little candles over there. And... Yeah, I just think this is adorable. Um, little dresser. There's my suitcase. And me! And I think I'm going to um, walk us upstairs too really quick if there's nobody around. And just show you the upstairs too because it's so cute and cozy here. It makes me not even want to leave. So let's do it. Icelandic bar and it was pretty good and I had my first Iceland beer um, but now <laughs> I went to the Icelandic Phallological Museum which is basically just they have this museum dedicated to penises here and they have like over 280 different animal penises and I thought that sounded like a great time <laughs> to check out. So here I am amongst the penises. <laughs> I'll show you some of them. Wow, this is from a bull. Oh, these ones are little. And this is from a goat. So yeah, this is how I'm gonna be spending my next hour, I suppose. And hopefully I can get some funny souvenirs here too. <laughs> and um, it was a great time. I got this. I'll show you it. It's a little phallic, not little actually, a large phallic beer bottle opener and yeah, very cute. I think I'm gonna give that to my mom and dad. Um, but yeah, it's like 6 p.m. and I cannot stay awake a moment longer so i'm gonna go to bed and i think i'm gonna sleep hopefully until tomorrow <laughs> then we will see what tomorrow brings um yeah i will talk to you then and i thought it could be fun to say my favorite and least favorite parts of each day and so today i would say my favorite parts were like the Blue Lagoon part when I got to talk to these nice people who asked me all about my solo travels and stuff 
and also seeing this cute Airbnb and eating dinner at that cozy little restaurant and my least favorite was the part when I was locked out of the cozy Airbnb and couldn't figure out how to open the door and